Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a progress bar in BuildBox easy. Now, before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe as I put out videos daily. For the amount of time that I've spent trying to make a progress bar, I can put into days, like three whole days. Some of them were okay, but none of them I really liked. And then I was playing Bitnoid and the progress bar was just smooth. And so I had to reach out to Astro Hound and be like, how'd you do that? Cause I want to do that. And I've spent three days and I did learn some After Effects, did le learn some more Strider animation box. I'm not really a fan of, but hey, I played with all these software. Then apparently I was just giving myself more work. So here's the shortcut. First thing we want to do is we want to grab some images. I'm going to grab this one. Here we can see this will be the progress bar. I'm going to put it at 1080, scale it down a little bit. And then the next image we want is an image that goes across. I'm going to use this red one right here. Go ahead, move the progress bar behind the image, select record, pop this up a little bit and we want to be messing with the X position so I'll go over here on the X position and hit enter. This will save at zero frames at this specific X position. And we're also going to be scaling it. Hit the X scale and then again it records the position. Next I'm going to move up to 25 frames because I want some time to go by before the progress bar starts. I don't want it to begin immediately. This works best for my game. You'll have to adjust accordingly. So again I'll go to the scale, hit enter, and I'll save the position. Next, I want to go roughly to about 350 frames. And now I'm going to grab the side over here. So I'm at 350 frames. I grab just the side and I hold shift so it doesn't move up. And then move it all the way over here. And now go to the scale. And once I hit enter, it'll save this length at 350 frames and now we can watch the progress bar slowly moving looks good so let's stop remove a cord now let's go into the game see how it looks start and we should see it moving slowly there we go we have our progress bar. You may need to play with the frames a little bit. Be careful when adjusting the animation and the frames. There's a lot of bugs. BuildBox has bugs specifically when it comes to duplicating, so just take your time and be careful. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.